chapter 3, Partnership Operations. Earn and Divide. Okay? This is also known as your Division of Profits and Losses. As pointed out in the previous chapter, partnership accounting is similar to single proprietorship accounting insofar as ordinary transactions are concerned. The difference lies on the accounting for the equity of the owners in a partnership form of business. At the end of each period, partnership revenues and expenses are closed out with the resulting net income or loss being reclassified to the partner's capital account. So, eto na, pag-uusapan natin kung una sa lahat, papano paghahati-hatian yung income or yung loss at kung papano siya itatransfer dun sa capital accounts ng mga partners. Because ultimately, ang bagsak niyan, yung effect niya dun sa capital account. Income, as you know, should increase the capital accounts and losses should decrease the capital accounts. Since a separate equity balance is maintained for each partner, a method must be devised for this assignment of periodic income. Because of the importance of the process, the procedures established by the partners should be stipulated in the Articles of Co-Partnership. In the absence of any stipulation, the law on partnerships shall govern. So yan yung sinasabi natin nung una pa, na ang pinaka-guideline pinaka mo talaga ay yung usapan or agreement ng mga partners. For as long as those agreements do not violate law, morals, customs, public policy, etc. So, in the absence sabi dito, of that agreement tsaka ngayon papatak yung law on partnership. Ayan. Actual procedures for allocating profits and losses can range from the simple to elaborate. Madami kasing paraan or ways on how you can do that. Whatever the basis may be, partnerships endeavor to establish a reasonable method of allocating profits or losses that would reflect factors such as expertise of participating partners, the amount of time each partner spends in the business and the amount of capital invested, among others, as factors to govern the allocation process. Kaya ang daming basihan klase po pwedeng magbigay ng salaries, po pwedeng magbigay ng interest, and at times pwede ding magbigay ng bonus. The interest may be based on different kinds of basis also. Tama? Pwedeng beginning, etc. Later on, we'll delve very deep into that. So again, here we have our case to remember. Rafi and Vilma are friends and partners in a fast food business. The business is started with the combined capital of only 50,000 contributed equally. Rafi acted as the manager while Vilma is a silent partner. Being small at first, there were no articles of co-partnership drawn and not even a formal agreement on how profits or losses will be distributed. Very, very common ito class. Okay, so magkakilala, nag-decide na gumawa ng business partnership, usapan lang, walang formalities. Ang problema, third paragraph, a few months later, the business showed good prospects. Ayan na. Having opened three branches in such a short period of time. At that point, nag-isip na yung mga partners. The partners became interested in discussing how profits and losses should be shared. Rafi wanted a 3 is to 1, 3 to 1 share in his favor, while Vilma wanted an equal share on profits and losses. After a 15,000 monthly salary is allowed for or to Rafi being the manager. Yan ang nga ba sinasabi natin, okay? Although valid or allowed yung verbal agreement lamang, later on kasi ang daming complication na mag-aarise pagka it was not put in black and white or in writing. Kaya dapat sa umpisa pa lang, talaga may usapan na. And it must be written. Alright? Para uh, to avoid, okay? Not to be valid, but to avoid complications. Rafi and Vilma are unable to settle their differences and are seeking your advice before taking things to court. If you are to advise Rafi and Vilma, what do you think would be the most appropriate way to distribute profits or losses and why? So, depende na to sa pangangatwiran mo. In formulating your advice, the following discussions will help. So, bago mo sila advice and class, Kailangan titignan mo muna yung ating discussions here in chapter 3. <clears throat> Distribution of profits or losses. The profits or losses shall be distributed to the partner in conformity with, with their agreement. In conformity with their agreement. Yan yung pinakauna. In the absence lamang ng kanilang express agreement, the partners would now result to the provisions of the new civil code of the Philippines. Article 1797 of the new civil code provides guidelines regarding distribution of partnership profits and losses as 
follows. The losses and profits shall be distributed in conformity with the agreement only if, if only rather, the share of each partner in the profits has been agreed upon, the share of each in the losses shall be in the same proportion. Una, agreement. Okay? Pangalawa, kung ang napag-usapan lang daw yung hatian ng tubo at hindi na pag-usapan yung hatian ng lugi, therefore, it shall be in the same proportion. Kung ang napag-usapan sa profits ay 50-50, walang usapan sa losses, dapat yung losses 50-50 din daw. Okay? In the absence of stipulation, intindihan or agreement, the share of each partner in the profits and losses shall be in proportion to what he may have contributed. Ayan, yan yung pinoint out natin sa earlier chapters, particularly in chapter 1, okay, sa introduction. Ang sabi natin, under Philippine GAAP, dapat pag silent yung problem, ang hatian, according to capital contribution. Pagka kasi US GAAP, yun yung equally, okay? But, the industrial partners shall not be liable for losses. We have explained here, actually, na hindi nga liable yung industrial partner sa losses, pero meron din actually, in reality, siyang na-sustain na loss. Tama? Ano yun? Ano nga uli yun, if you can remember? Correct. Yung kanyang pagod. Tsaka kasi yung nagpagod. So, pagka nagkaroon ng loss, eh, parang nasayang din lahat yung kanyang efforts. Okay? As for profits, the industrial partners shall receive such share as may be just and equitable under the circumstances. So, medyo vague yung portion na yun. Ano ba yung just and equitable? Okay? May nabanggit na tayo sa Code of Commerce sa previous chapter, chapter 2, that the industrial partner shall be placed in the position of the smallest, yung pinakamaliit, na capitalist partner. Tama? Naalala mo ba yun? If besides his services, he has contributed capital, he shall also receive a share in the profits in proportion to his capital. So, kung bukod sa pagiging industrial partner siya ay capitalist partner din, then makikishare siya in proportion dun sa kanyang pagiging capitalist partner aside from pagiging industrial partner. Okay. Rules for distribution of profits and losses in tabular form. Based on the above statements, the following should be observed in the distribution of profits and losses of a partnership. Okay. With agreement, natural yung agreement ang susundan. For as long as the agreements do not violate law, etc. etc. Without any agreement, distribution of profits, the share of the capitalist partner is in proportion to his capital contribution. Ayan. Paulit-ulit, hindi equally a according to capital contribution. 2. Share of industrial partner is not fixed and sabi, as may be just and equitable under the circumstances. Distribution of losses. If sharing of profits is stipulated by intindihan, apply that to sharing of losses also. 2. If no profit sharing is stipulated, losses shall be borne according to capital contribution. Okay. Purely industrial partner is not liable for losses. Distribution of profit and losses, that a. Profit or losses shall be distributed in conformity with agreement. If only the share of each partner in the profit has been agreed upon, the share of each in the losses shall be in the same proportion. In the absence of stipulation, the share of each partner in the profits and losses shall be in proportion to what he may have contributed. But, yung letter A hanggang C class, parehas lang nung binabanggit sa taas. Okay? Etong letter D ang medyo kailangan natin linawin. As for the profits, the industrial partner shall receive such share as may be just and equitable under the circumstances. If besides his services he has contributed capital, he shall also receive a share in the profits in proportion to his capital. Ito, note, ito yung binanggit na din natin nung nakaraan. Under Article 140 of the Code of Commerce, the industrial partner is placed in the distribution in the same position as a capitalist partner partner, ayan, having the smallest interest in the partnership. So, mas malinaw ito kesa dun sa statement na shall receive whatever may be just and equitable. Parang ano just and equitable? Wala siyang specific guideline. Ito, this is much more precise. Ilalagay siya sa posisyon ng pinakamaliit na, indas, uh, na capitalist partner. Okay? Pinakamaliit na interest. So, baka tignan mo yung height eh. <laughs> Okay? Methods of profit distribution. As provided in the preceding discussions, the division of profits or losses is primarily determined by agreement between the partners. The partners may therefore agree to divide profits or losses by either 
equal sharing using a preset ratio, using capital balance. Ito na yung mga po pwedeng maging base yan. Equal sharing, preset ratios, using capital balance ratios, or by paying partner salaries, interest, and at times, bonuses may also be given. Right? Pagdating dun sa salaries, nabanggit na natin, although mababanggit natin uli later on, kung paano i-treat yung salaries. Alright? Interest and bonuses also shall be discussed in detail later. So, ito yung summary ng agreements na po pwede nilang i-adapt. Equal sharing. Okay? Yung preset ratio, po pwede 3 is to 2. Ayan. These are just examples. Okay? Percentage like 60 sa'yo, 40 sa akin, or 60 sa akin, 40 sa'yo. One third sa akin, two thirds sa yon fractions. Po pwede nang based on capital ratio. Pwede ng based on original capital, capital at the beginning of the current period, capital at the end of the current period, o kaya average capital balances. As to which of these four is the most equitable and the least desirable, okay, mababanggit natin later on. Multiple profit allocation basis. One or more combination of the following may be employed as profit or loss distribution scheme. So kung maalala mo, sabi natin kanina dun sa introduction ng ating chapter 3, laging sinusubukan o ina-attempt ng bawat partnership na ma-distribute yung kanilang income and losses in the most reasonable and equitable way. Okay? Ngayon, uh, very seldom that a single criteria represents that objective. So madalang na pag sinabi mong base lang sa average capital, balance, eh yun na talaga yung gustong ma-achieve. That would, that would be the device or the way on how the partnership would want to achieve that objective. Ano ang objective? To reasonably distribute the profit or losses. Kaya ang ginagawa ng most partnership multiple allocation basis. Okay? Ano-ano ba to? One or more, one or combination of the following may be employed. Okay? Pwedeng magbigay ng bonus and the balance to be divided equally. Pwedeng meron ding salary Okay. and the remainder in the agreed ratio. Lahat ng tuklas meron tayong illustrative problem as usual. Siyempre, pwede din merong interest okay, on the partner's capital and the remainder based on an agreed ratio. Pwede din merong salaries, interest, okay, kahit na anong combination dyan class. For as long as alam mo yung treatment later on pagka nagsusolve tayo, there would be no problem regarding number four, multiple profit allocation basis. Do not worry, as usual, we we will guide you always. We are now in page 100. Ayan. Next, notes on profit or loss distribution agreement. Capital ratio. These are the things that you should remember when you are distributing profits or losses. Una, capital ratio. When capital contributions of partners serve as the basis in profit or loss allocation or profit and loss distribution, it should be specific with respect to which concept of capital is to be applied. Ano yung capital na yun nagagawa? Gamitin, okay? Is it the beginning capital balance? Is it the ending? Or is it the average? When beginning capital balances are used in allocating partnership income, additional investments during the accounting period may be discouraged because the partners making such investments are not compensated in the division of income until a later period. Okay? Ano ibig sabihin nun? Kung ang gagamitin mong basihan ng hatian ng income ay yung beginning lang Lamang, wala na daw incentive or walang benefit na makukuha yung partner sa pamamagitan ng pag invest during the period. Sabi ng partner, well anyway, ang basis naman ng hatian at the end of the year, pagka may kinita kami, ay yung beginning capital balance. So why would I make additional investment during the period? Okay? If I make additional investment during the period, say for example, kalagitnaan ng taon, the benefit from which Okay? with respect to distribution of profits and losses will be the next period na kasi that would affect the beginning capital balance of the following period but for the current period wala na siyang bearing in terms of profit distribution so walang incentive daw to make additional investments during the period until sabi dito the later period okay? a similar problem exists when ending capital paano naman daw kung ending capital ang ginamit ng basihan sasabihin naman ngayon so basahin muna natin year 
dividend investments are encouraged ayan, by their inclusion in determining each partner's share of income but no incentive exists for a partner to make additional any additional investment before year end so sasabi naman this time ng partner ah doon na lang ako sa dulo maglalagay ng additional investment para malaki yung ending capital balance ko para maging malaki yung basis ko doon sa sharing ng profit and loss tama parang may mali yata doon okay also no penalty exists for withdrawals mag-withdraw siya nang mag-withdraw during the period tsaka doon na lang siya sa dulo magre-reinvest okay before the period ends so that is very flawed for very obvious reasons so ano sinasabi there for so in effect parang sinasagot na natin kung ano yung pinakamagandang basis pagka capital ratio ang ginamit okay therefore in this case the weighted average capital balance provide the fairest ibig sabihin yung pinakamaganda pinaka reasonable pinakapatas na basis for allocating partnership income. A weighted average interpretation of capital should be assumed in the absence of evidence to the contrary. Class kasi, pag sinabi mong average, po pwede ring simple. Okay? Ngayon, ang sinasabi natin dito, if the problem is silent, it must be assumed to be weighted. Alright? Dapat siya ay weighted average at hindi simple. Kasi pagka simple average, it is simply your beginning plus ending divided by 2. Okay? So pagka silent, tatandaan mo weighted average. Computation of weighted average capital balances. Assume Aladdin and Jasmine are partners with their capital accounts for the year 2020 presented as follows. Aladdin Capital, August 1. Okay? Dito, o, so simulan natin sa beginning. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. And yung sequencing for Aladdin. For Jasmine naman, so ang beginning niya ay 100,000 January. February, March, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October. Ito yung paggalaw ng kanyang capital balances. Aladdin, Jasmine. Okay, class. So, that's the bell already. That's it for this meeting. Uh, so, ganun-ganun lang, class. A few minutes of your time every day. Imbis na kung ano-ano yung pinapanood mo, just make it a habit to watch our videos uh, bilang tulong na rin dun sa sarili mong pag-aaral. Why? Kasi tatandaan mo, hindi lahat ng nababasa mo ng mag-isa ay maririnig mo. At hindi din lahat ng mga naririnig mo ay mababasa mo. Tulungan yan. So, with that, See you in our next meeting. See you in the next lesson.